Parliament again, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of the biggest buildings in the world, officially. It's the second building in the world after the Pentagon in the chapter for administrative civil use. So this means we have a lot of people who work in the building here. And also, I'm going to mention some of them. We have the Parliament, so we have the Legislative Forum. You also have the Constitutional Court. The Legislative Council is here. And now we have a tour in the National Conference. You can visit the building, but also you can come back and attend a business meeting over here, which is something, OK? Or you can come back for a party, OK? So come back. But don't forget your tour guide. In 1977, we had an earthquake. After, unfortunately, where a lot of people lost their lives. After the earthquake, Nikolai Ceausescu in those times, in a big part of the Communist Party, organized a competition for a new civic center. So they wanted a new Bucharest, okay? And they organized this competition. They actually wanted a big building for the communist institutions. Ministries around it, and a big boulevard full of the apartments for the nomenclatura, for the, some of the elite of the Communist Party, okay? Three, four times bigger than the rest. Everybody's equal, you know, right? <laughs> And uh, well, a young architect won. She was about uh, 30, okay, the beginning of the 80s. And her name was Anka Petrescu, and she became the main architect for this building. Her project won, especially because of the size of it, was actually pretty much one of the biggest. 600 seats in this room. The columns in the back, they're much smaller over there, okay? So it's a harmonious architectural effect. The height is dropping gradually until the end over there. So the pink marble everywhere, okay? It's also coming from the same place. And inside the marble, it's a lot of reinforced concrete throughout the whole construction, okay? So there's some 500,000 tons of steel, so 700,000 tons of cement around in this uh, building. So this is a very big building, okay? And it's not full marble, thank God, right? Okay. This when they destroyed the neighborhood, okay, that was here before, they destroyed one-fifth of the city of Bucharest in those days. More than 50,000 people were scattered through Bucharest. They were moved away from this area from their homes. And the old town of the city was destroyed a big part of it. Okay, so they destroyed a big part of it. They also destroyed the hill from Bucharest. The neighbor, the hill was called the Arsenal Hill. Okay, it was a hill over here. And the building is the hill right now. So I just want to tell you congratulations for visiting the underground of this building. Okay. So the underground was downstairs, you saw two levels of it, about 20 meters, congratulations. Okay, and the underground is much more, we have information that it's uh, even uh, 90 meters, okay, in about nine levels. And upstairs it's 86 meters in about 10 levels. So it's almost the same up and down, okay. Underground, okay, parking lots, tunnels, all these areas connected, it's official information. And also there's an anti-atomic uh, chamber, it's a bunker underneath this building. I don't know where it is or details about it, and even if I did, I couldn't tell you. Right? It's a military, right? In Nikolai Yorga was a famous Romanian historian, and this room is built in a German style from the 19th century. It's the same style that you will find in the Pelish castle from Sinaia, Romania, okay? So they thought about it over here. Of course, this is a lower level of detail than in the castle there. If you go and visit the castle, it's amazing, okay? Just at Nikolai Churchesmo, there was supposed to be another protocol here, here for them. He was supposed to go down those stairs, okay, whenever somebody was visiting. And then his wife on the other side of the stairs over there. And then they were supposed to meet here and say hello to whoever might have visited. One of the Kims, North Korea, yeah, North Korea, they thought North Korea was great. The system, by the way, right? This explains many things. So they wanted to receive the people here and have a king, queen idea, okay, and then go into their rooms, into the big rooms and, uh, no, start the propaganda, okay, machine. This is one of the big rooms, of course, as you can see. It's a big chandelier surrounded by smaller ones. And around the chandelier, you're gonna see now it's more gold, 
it's gold plated again. It's not 24 carats everyone, of course, it's industrial gold, but let's be serious, it's still gold, right? And this is one of the meeting rooms, you see there's two entrances, so you can have like two presidents or two prime ministers, they can enter, they can shake hands in front of the people. This is the protocol, this happened here. Okay, and it's 2,200 square meters. It's the biggest room for concerts. We've had classical music concerts, all sorts of musical concerts. Okay, over here, real estate fair, wedding fair, charity balls, wedding receptions, weddings in the past. So this is a room where they use it for this purpose. The big. <laughs> The one and only had a speech, short one, for the people. It was a spontaneous thing, we understand, but Michael Jackson's concert was the first one at the beginning of the 90s, okay? So it was a lot of optimism, good feeling amongst the people, okay? 75,000 people were in the stadium at his concert. He was also here visiting, this was not finished, there were still people walking around here, okay? And, uh, I understand that some people saw him, he got excited, they got excited, and Michael Jackson said to the people, he started off a series of, hello people, I love you Budapest. <laughs> so he was actually one of the first ones to make the famous confusion. Bucharest there, Budapest here. This sound, okay, the sound is, is similar, but you know, there's some different capitals, okay? Well, Michael Jackson, don't worry, he said Romania very fast, okay? And, uh, well, how can you get Michael to Michael, right? And, good news, he never dropped a baby, okay? You know he almost dropped that baby in Germany, right? Thank God he didn't do it over here, there's no babies, okay? So once again, I'm sharing also the story. It's funny, but also because of the change of time, so his concert was just at the beginning, okay? There's a moment of change over there, okay? Well, we had many concerts, and uh, everyone, I'm gonna continue to say goodbye to Bucharest right now, okay? Bucharest. Bucharest, okay? Watch out, okay?